Hey everybody, my name is Ben, and today we got something super special. We got the iPhone 10, and we're gonna take a look at it and just see how it runs and, and what its status is now as we're coming on to 2024. Should you buy this thing? Let's jump right into it. So here it is, this is the iPhone 10. And this is, of course, the white version of it, which I think is especially stunning. This phone has really aged just beautifully. And I think if you've come from having a newer iPhone, especially one that has the squared off edges, um, holding this iPhone and just feeling it there in your hand is really just another experience. Um, the way that the curves of it just fit into your, your hand, fit into the edges of your wrist, um, it just feels so nice. And it's just something that's so unlike anything that we even have today with the iPhone world. And I will give it that it is slippery. Um, you don't have that solidity, that grip in the hand that you do with a more modern squared off iPhone, but just the quality that you feel, especially with the stainless steel on the sides is really something else. And you have to feel it to really get that sense for how it is today. Let's just do a quick performance test on this iPhone. And we'll start it off by also looking at the battery life. We're sitting at 94%. And for the end of this test, we'll go ahead and check out where that's at by the end. So I've closed out all the apps. There's nothing open on here. So we have a clean slate to really test how this thing runs. Let's go ahead and open up the weather app. We can see it's pretty quick, even though it takes a second or so to open. Likewise with the clock app, that was pretty fast. The calendar does take a quick second, but really is not that bad at all. Let's go ahead and open up just settings, see what that's like, that's very quick. Let's go ahead and jump into the photos app and see some of those photos. Likewise, very, very fast. So anything that's like a first party app on here is pretty quick to get around to. Let's see the news app, which is a little bit heavier and we can see that is not that bad. Let's go ahead and try to open up something that's third party. Let's go to, to Duolingo and that does take an extra second and you'll notice whenever you start to really do a lot with this phone you know opening a lot of applications multitasking using the camera you start to feel it get warm back here which i am starting to feel just a little bit let's open up the app store that does take just a second and we'll go ahead and open up uh let's go to facetime real quick okay so you can see for just doing the basic things on this phone, it's quick and you're able to multitask and go back to other apps with ease. It's amazing how well this phone is aged for doing those simple things in the day to day. And we'll go ahead and check the battery. We started off at 94%. We're now at 93. So after a couple minutes of usage, that really is not that bad. And here we have just a couple of photos that I took with the iPhone 10. Um, this is just an indoor photo with good lighting. Obviously, this is cropped a little bit, but you can see that it's able to produce good detail and good contrast within that indoor situation. Here we have an outdoor situation. You can tell it's a good balanced picture. It just lacks a little bit of detail if you actually look at the edges, if you look at the details within the trees and within nature itself. And then finally, we have a dark picture here, and you can see likewise a lot of detail lacking. So that is a look at the iPhone 10. Now this is a very special little phone. It set the stage for what an iPhone is today. It introduced the OLED display, it introduced the notch and the borderless edges to it. And it introduced a design that is so timeless. The way that this iPhone looks is just so unique. And I still think it's the most beautiful iPhone to have existed. That being said though, can I recommend it? And I have to say that it's a pretty easy no. Given that this iPhone stopped receiving updates in 2023, I guess, last year, um, it's just really hard to say this iPhone can possibly be worth it. There are so many other iPhones that are just a little bit more expensive than this on the used market that give you everything that this has without any of the cons. Those cons being the battery life, that lack of software support that I mentioned, the poor camera performance compared to what newer iPhones have to offer and just that little bit of lacking performance. 
If you spend just a little bit more money on a slightly newer iPhone, you're getting so much more for the money. So I don't want to detract from what this iPhone is. This is an incredibly special phone and we need to enjoy it for what it is while it still has some life left in it. But hope you all enjoyed this video. Please let me know below any of your thoughts on it. And thank you so much for your time. Have a good one.